A part two? No one ever watches part two. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Scotty Karate video. Today we're going to be moving on with our lesson and our walkthrough of the 20 principles of Funakoshi. If you haven't seen my previous video, you can check it out in the link up here. But to sum it up, we went through the first five out of the 20. Today, I think we're going to move on to six through 10. Sound good? Sounds good. Starting today's list off with number six, always be prepared to set your mind free. What does that mean? Well, to take it as it will, but to me, I kind of translate that to make sure you're ready to learn, experience, no more. Bruce Lee once said, I said, empty your mind, be formless. Shapeless, like water. Might be talking about the same thing. What do you think? I don't know, but they do sound very similar. Coming at number seven from Funakoshi, misfortune comes out of laziness. Accidents arise from negligence. So let's break that down. Misfortune comes out of laziness. Well, what does that actually mean? To me, that means you need to step up and do what you're supposed to. So if you know you're supposed to go to karate two times a week, Go to karate two times a week. Don't be lazy. There's always going to be times that's going to keep you from training, from studying, doing whatever your goal is to get to where you want to be. But you can't be lazy. You have to put in the effort. So if you have, say, two days a week, you go to karate. Today, you're just not feeling it. You're like, nah, I just, you know, my back's a little achy. Or, Meh. No. Tough it out. Put on a gi. Go. Second part of that, accidents arise from negligence. To me, this is an important one because you know these people, the people that are in your dojo, that's training, and they don't take it seriously. They're joking. They're having a good time. They might even have a weapon like a bow, and they're just swinging it around, just, yeah, not really paying attention, not really trying. One, if you're the receiving end of that, you're the okay there, you're not learning anything because they aren't taking it serious, which means you can't possibly get any actual skill out of doing these motions, doing these drills, whatever. Two, these are the people that get hurt or, or to the point, hurt someone else. So you'll see these people and they'll be problem, problematic, one would say. And they have to be taken care of or addressed or... All these things. The problem is, we have to be able to do that. We have to understand that and see that. You have to be able to protect yourself because someone's not paying attention. Don't be hurt and try not to hurt others. Be more responsible. Do not think karate training is only in the dojo. What? What? Yeah, it is. You go to the dojo, you go, yeah, yeah, and you're done. You go home. No. First off, just on the surface level, go home and train. Stop it. Stop it. But metaphorically, moving on past that, karate doesn't end in the dojo. What does that mean to me? You're going to have to use this someday. You're going to have to go out there. Somebody's going to say something, do something, attack you, your friends, your family, whatever. You're going to have to use it. But even further than that, you learn things in karate that you use every single day. There's things that I've learned in karate that I do without even thinking. One, I keep my back straight when I stand. I oh, know, right? It's ridiculous. Look around when you can. Look around at people. You'll see them all. Mm. They don't really care. They're slushed over. They're just walking. Don't hold themselves correctly. That alone is something that I got straight from karate. Because if you slunch over, your back's not straight. When you do a move, you go, ah, and you're done. So you have to be able to do these things. These things come over. They translate hundreds, thousands. Basically, everything you've ever done in karate can be applied in real life, and you probably do. Think about it. Number nine on Funakoshi's list is actually quite ironic and insightful, knowing that it came from a master. And that is, there is no limit to karate. It will take a lifetime. So if you're learning karate, 
It's not a hobby you do for a year and you stop. It's a lifestyle. It's a life decision. Everything you do kind of forms around it. Other sports might do it. You might be into, you know, say, golf. And if you only play once every six months, your golf game might not get any better. I mean, I just couldn't get the ball in the hole. I wanted to, but I just couldn't do it. Karate is a little different, but it's still a perishable skill. You have to do it for the rest of your life. And the reality is, is there's always something to learn. That's my takeaway from it. So if you're sitting there and you're like, man, I've done this sidekick 10,000 times. No one's better at sidekicks than me. This is ridiculous. I'm going to stop with sidekicks and move on. Except for you might get bad at sidekicks. Or maybe there's a different way to do that sidekick. Maybe there's a different way of setting up that sidekick to land that you haven't been practicing and you didn't learn. Doesn't matter if you have the greatest sidekick in the world and if I hit you, you go flying through the room. If you can't hit anyone with it, there's always something to learn. Decipher. You look at your base caught and you're like, I know all that. And then a week later, you're like, you know what? That move might change into this other thing. Well, let me think on that one. Always learn. Always progress. There's always something new, even in something old. Last on our list today of Funakoshi's principles is going to be putting karate in your everyday life and you'll find its subtle secrets. Well, what does that mean? Well, this one's a little more nuanced, but let me give you an example how I feel it means. It means you'll learn something or do something and you'll think it means one thing or you'll understand it in one context. Later, you'll be out someplace Lightning will strike your brain. Lightning has just struck my brain. And now magically you realize that translates into something else. Or maybe you'll have that epiphany and all of a sudden now you realize something that you do with karate now affects you in real life that you didn't think it meant to. But it's probably meant to. So for example, if you're say upper rank and you're asked to teach a lower rank. You're like, okay, hey, you know, go over there and teach them your first kata. Okay, or help them with a particular thing. You know, they're oh, they're having trouble with their down block, whatever. You get over there and you teach and you teach. And uh, the person's just not getting it. They're, you know, just it's not clicking. You'll then notice other teachers teach things differently. So instead of drawing in going, no, proper front stance, down block and instead of just making them do it over and over again, maybe someone else, you'll notice they'll come up and go, oh, you know, pretend like you're taking off a jacket and then throwing it down. And then all of a sudden, magically, now the guy goes, oh, so just like that. And it just, oh. Then you go out of the dojo and you realize you have to deal with other people who don't understand what you're talking about. You're trying to say something, explain something. And then you change it a little bit. And then magically now they start to understand that patience, that teaching, all that came with you from karate. It's something that we do a lot. Don't know about your school, but if I show something to someone and they're not getting it, you know, I've shown them a couple different ways or what I think is working and I'm not getting it. I go, Hey, other instructor, come help me for a second. You mind this person I, I've shown them. They're not, I, they're not catching what I'm throwing. And they'll say, oh, well, what about X, Y, Z? And the person will go, you know what? That makes sense. And I'll go, you know what? That makes sense. Ta-da. Fudu Koshi knew some. I think he knew what he was doing. So that wraps up 6 through 10 of Fudu Koshi. Learning a lot. If you haven't seen these before, there's something to definitely look into and start trying to incorporate and find ways to make them fit you in your life. Is this something that you're doing? Have you ever heard of these? Let me know in the comments below. And always, if you see any of these where you're like, no, no, I think it means this. Absolutely. I want to hear from you. Definitely want to know more, not less. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell in the corner so you know when my videos are posted each week. And as always, the more you train, easier the fight.